Hi guys, Scrapaletta here with Scrapaletta Designs. Um, so, to get back to our next steps in water slide and preparing our water slides. So we printed out these and I got it a little close. So let me move it up a little bit so we can have a uh, full sight here. So I printed out these, we printed out these using our Cricut Maker. And as you can see, it did leave lines in these right here. And I honestly think that's the paper because it, it left it in both of them. It has left it in every one I have done on this Hanes paper. So as I was saying, I did order another paper from Amazon. It's supposed to come in on Monday. I'll let you know how that works um, because the printer is clean. So the next step that we are going to do in this, after you print this out on water slide paper, you need to let it dry. So I normally let mine dry for about 10 minutes. It normally does not take any longer than that, just to make sure the ink is dry about 10 minutes. Then we're going to take this uh, Krylon. This is what I use. You can use something different, but I use Krylon Crystal Clear Acrylic Coating. Now they do make one of these that does not have that scent. Um, I got this one from Hobby Lobby. I got it with a coupon. It was $9.99. Uh, I think uh, Walmart does have it cheaper, but you know, you can't use coupon at Walmart. But what you're going to do is you're going to spray each one of these pages three times. Three times, guys, you're going to spray it. The first time you're going to spray it, you're going to wait 15 minutes. Then you're going to spray it again after 15 minutes. That's your second time. The third time, you're going to spray them again and then you're going to let them dry. I normally let mine dry about an hour to two hours, finally, to make sure that it's good and dry. I will tell you, tell you this. I try to spray mine outside because this stuff has fumes and they are toxic inside if you spray inside. So I normally take mine outside where it's in the open. Sometimes I put on a mask, but if I'm outside, the fumes tend to go away from me. So I spray it with that. I will leave these outside until they dry completely for that time. Once they dry, then you can move to the next step. Now, what you can do is you can take these, you can put them back in the um, your Cricut. You can cut them out with your Cricut or you can cut them out by hand. Now, I didn't have time to, have, to spray these and let them dry, but I do have, it's a different pattern, um, but I do have some over here that I am going to, um, that I've already sprayed. So these I also have to, I'm going to put it on a mug like I did those. So these have already been sprayed three times. They've already dried and I'm not going to cut them out with the Cricut. I am going to cut them out by hand. Uh, let's see. So here's my scissors. And, and that's a good thing because even if you would, that's a good thing with water slide. Even if you don't have a Cricut, even if you don't have a Cricut, you can still do water slide because you can do just like I'm doing right now take a few minutes and cut it out you don't have to be all that careful because it's white and it's going on a white mug but the white shows up like clear so um, I do like using my Cricut because you know I bought it for that you might as well use it but uh, I'm just trying to show you this video and I want to get it done so I can show it to you. And um, the best way to do that is cut it out like this. Now, I am, I am making these for a young lady that is actually in our group. See, I wasn't all that careful in cutting it out. So we cut her out. Sorry about that. I didn't mean to juggle that. Now we're going to cut the guy out. So I'm just going to go and cut around him. I hate to spend my time having you watch me cut, but you know, I want you to see um, what I'm doing and we'll see how these come out. You know, if they come out good, yay, they come out good. And if they don't, yay, they will do them over. You know, that's kind of way I feel. I got to get good at it. Um, I haven't been doing a lot of water slides but since I have been doing them I have fallen in love with doing them so we've got this cut out pretty good all right 
and I measured my cup and this is excuse me guys I am videoing I'm videoing I'm sorry guys uh, my family is upstairs in the kitchen and I am downstairs in my craft room in the basement that I had done so I can get away from my family upstairs in the kitchen um, this is my space I love it I just had it done the basement was unfinished and it was packed up with all kinds of stuff because we moved from um, about three years ago and you know when you have stuff and it's in there for in there for three years you don't really need it anymore but a lot of it was my crafting stuff and it was packed up so I'll, some of it I wasn't getting rid of okay so we have our two images cut out right here now the next thing we need to do is we need to get our cup our mug so we're gonna use this mug and oh this is what I meant to show you guys I'm sorry when I put mine when I spray mine I use an old-fashioned clothespin and just a piece of cardboard that's it I clip it to the cardboard in case you know because I'm doing this outside okay and I don't stay out there with it so in case wind comes or something it won't blow this around so we're gonna need that and we're gonna need uh, one of these so we're only gonna do one for right now and I'm just gonna cut around that And you guys have already seen, most of you have already seen um, the mug I did with Rosie the Riveter on it. So, I don't think I'm going to need to show you that one again. So, we'll do the guy this time. Alright. So, this was mirrored too. So, we're going to put that over there. Now, so we're going to do the guy, this, and then I'll come back later and do Rosie and him. Alright. So, ooh, my water has gotten cold. Give me just a second. Let me run and get some warm water. I like warm water because it um, seems to work better with my paper. So, hold on just one second. Let me get a little bit of warm water. Okay, I'm back guys, I'm so sorry. But I use this little tray because most of my water slides are small. They're going on mugs and stuff, they're not that big. This is a little tray I got from Dollar Tree. It was a dollar. <laughs> and the mug came from Dollar Tree. It was a dollar. So you see, if I mess it up, the most that I've messed up is probably the ink for this. Alrighty, so we're going to move over here just a little bit. I'm going to move you over here so you can see what I'm doing. Let me get this to stand up straight so you can see what I'm doing. Okay, so here is my mug right here. Now, again, we need to clean it with the alcohol because I don't want to touch it. So let me take my paper towel. I'm going to spray it with the alcohol. Try to get all of this part in this video. I'm going to spray it with the alcohol. In the meantime, while I'm cleaning this, I'm going to take my guy and I'm going to put him down in my tub of water. Now, as you can see, when he curls up, as he curls up, as he curls up, um, when he begins, when he begins to get good, he, I, I find that they flatten out once they get, you know, like start working. It only takes a couple of minutes, not even a couple of minutes, like some seconds. And it seems to be done. All right. So here we go. All right. Let me put you up. I'm trying to get it up where you can get a good view here. All right. So here's my cup. And I won't, it doesn't really matter because... Um, we're going to put a design on both sides. So I normally put a little bit of water on my cup 
to make it a little bit easier. And what I do is I take my water slide and if it moves, see how that's moving a little bit? I know it's good. Now, I mirrored him. I mirror all my designs because as I told you before, I like to slide them. See, oh, this is a good one. See how it's just sliding right off the top? Look at there. Look at there. Alrighty. Then this squeegee I got for a dollar from the Dollar Tree in the makeup section, guys. Because it took me a minute to figure out it was in the makeup section. And working from the inside going out, let's straighten him out just a hair. Ah, uh, there we go. Don't want to move him too much because we don't want to tear him. There we go. And if you don't have this squeegee, you know what? Use your hand. Your hand will work. Now, you see, because this was white, we really didn't have to cut this part out right in here. We didn't have to cut that out. I just, you know, I don't know. Sometimes I can remember, sometimes I can't. But it's okay. It's all good. It's all good. That's how I feel. It's all good. You want to get all the water out from under this, but you want to be careful because, as I said, you don't want to rip it. You don't want to tear it. But you want to get all the water out. I like him. He's a nice guy. He's a handsome guy, whoever he is. All right. So then we're going to take another paper towel. And while I'm waiting for this one to dry, I'm going to put this one in and let it start. Okay. And I'm going to continue to get all the water off this. And I'm just dabbing. Oh, see? That's how I, you dab too hard. And that's what happens. Got He had a little tear right there, but we got that fixed. So you can't dab too hard because after a while it becomes um, kind of tacky and... And we know we got all the water out, but it does become kind of tacky. We want to make sure it has no wrinkles in it. Yep. We want to make sure he has no wrinkles. The edges are down good. Okay. All right. So now we're going to turn him over on this side. We're going to be kind of careful because we don't want to mess with him over there. I'm going to put a little water on this side. And forgive me if I went out of frame with that one. Okay. Now, what I could have done was I could have measured all the way around my cup. Okay. See, this is ready. See how it's sliding right there? I could have measured all the way around my cup and just put... Ah, and just put, um, how about if I turn it up like that, and just put, did one, hmm, there we go, yeah, I have to, sorry guys, I have to put it up where I can see, to make sure it's straight, okay? And again, then I'm going to take my squeegee and I'm going to work from the center out. Get all the water out from him, from this, from my nutritional facts. Guys, I can't draw worth five cents, but I tell you, when I am doing this, it's like, I don't know, I, I feel like I can create, even though somebody else drew this. I feel like I can create, and I feel accomplished. I don't know about you guys, but I get pleasure out of this. For my day job, I am a vice principal at an elementary school, and I can't wait. I, I, I know you guys know how this feels, because you're crafters. I can't wait to get home so I can do this. All right? Look at there. Look, 
So that's our cup. Forgive my workspace. It's a little junky right now. So this is my cup. I'm doing this for uh, a person that wanted me to make these for her. I guess for one for her and her husband or one for her and her guy. Okay, so this is his side. And she's going to get this. Now, I'm not sure if she wants it on a mug or if she wants it on the jug, the mason jar jug, but I am going to be doing one on both. I'm going to let her see both of them. She can decide which one she wants. So now I need to let this dry because what I'm going to do is I'm going to let this dry and then I'm going to, I'm going to let this dry and then I'm going to bake it in the oven. And it says once you bake it in the oven, you don't have to cover it with anything. And the other ones I did, I have not covered it with anything. So, um, but we know that the one I was working on was this one right here earlier. And this is how it, uh, this, this pattern. But I'm also going to take this pattern and put it on a mug. I like putting them on mugs. Uh, the, the mason is cute, but I like putting them on mugs. So, guys, that's all my time. I will see you in the next part of this video. Bye.